gonna show you how to use a load tester on a uh, truck battery. Now this is a battery load tester. Um, how it works is uh, you charge your battery to uh, the full 12 volts or 6 volts. This is a 6 volt or 12 volt charger. Um, once you get it up to the peak voltage, then you push this, you hook this up to, you know, to the positive terminal and this to the negative terminal. And uh, you push this button. And when you push this button, it puts a load on the battery. You hold it five to ten seconds. Five should be more than fine. And then whatever it draws it down to, being 600 cold cranking amp, 200 cold cranking amp. That's where you want to be. Now, if it goes to weak, well, the battery's weak. And if it goes to bad, well, weak or bad, both, I'd replace it. But if you're in a green, you're fine. Okay, how this works is when you push this button, it completes a circuit. Inside there is a, a resistor. If you can see that, there you go. See the resistor? Like a heating element. Um, and it does get hot when you push this button and you count to five or ten seconds. Like I said, five should be more than adequate. That uh, creates the resistance and, uh, well, it's hot. Okay, well, let's go check the truck battery. Alright, here's the battery we're going to be load testing. Um, I went to start it. It was hard start. Um, barely ever start this vehicle. It sits a lot. So we're going to check the voltage. Here's my digital voltimeter. It's auto ranging. So we have it hooked up properly down here. We're going to put it on volts. Okay. And you want to make sure it's on direct current. AC stands for alternating current. And D that. Well, DC or that flat line stands for direct current. Now, as you can see, my battery's going dead, but it'll make it through this video. So, I got it on direct current. It's auto ranging, so you don't have to uh, adjust it. Like on some multimeters, you'll see 200, 200 and 2000 the DC, and same as for AC. You don't have to do this. You just put it on V, and it ranges itself. So, red lead to positive terminal, black lead to negative terminal. Now you got 11.75. Now it's supposed to be around 12.62 is the goal. Well, anything north of 12, 12.2. 12 so what we're going to do to do a proper load test, we're going to charge it. Now we're going to use a quick charger right here. The speed charger and the maintainer. But this one. I'm gonna hook it up. It's auto. It's auto. So it's on six volt or twelve volt batteries. You can charge. You hook it up. It charges the battery to the full to the full um, voltage and the amperage. And then once it hits that, it'll just start maintaining it. It'll shut itself off, turn itself on. In other words, you can set it, forget it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hook it up. Let it charge for about six hours. I'm gonna go fishing, come back, and then load test it. I already plugged it in. As you can see, it's charging. Once it's charged, then it'll start maintaining. So, we'll let her sit and charge. Then we'll load test her. All right, it's finally charged. After a day and a half, it's finally charged. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhook the charger. Get you a better view. Remove your charger leads. Check 
the voltage real quick. You don't have to do it this way, I just do it. Twelve point five two, that's acceptable. Now let's do the load test. We fully charge the battery. Very slow charge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, the last battery we uh, load tested was uh, a weak battery. It's not strong enough to uh, turn the car a couple times. It failed our. It came up weak on our load test. Um, so now we're going to do this battery, which is a known good one. So you have an example of a poor battery and a good battery. That way you can compare it side by side. So, again, positive to positive, or red to positive, black to negative. I'll eventually get it right one day. Okay. You can see we're up to, uh, uh, 12 point some six something volts I checked it with the multimeter but right there it's, it's close to 13 so all right we're gonna load test it like it's 540 cold cranking amps so let's load test it two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand see how it's staying in the 600 range that's real good that was more than 10 so right there Stayed in this 600 range. So, there you go. That's a good battery. The one we tested earlier was a thousand, and it's supposed to be in between that line right there. It went all the way down to two. So, that battery is toast. Time to get a new battery for that car. Thanks for watching. Please comment below.